Welcome back. Another example of multiple point cutting tools uh, that we are having are the tools that are used to make gears. So gears can be made in a number of ways using a number of manufacturing processes. And generally uh, for mass production or making gears, larger quantities, we use machining. And in machining, we have multiple options as well. And one of them is gear hobbing. Cutting tool that is used in hobbing is called a hob. So it is the cutter used to cut the teeth into the workpiece. It is cylindrical in shape with helical cutting teeth. These teeth have grooves that run the length of the hob, which aid in cutting and chip removal. The teeth are progressively cut into the workpiece by a series of cuts made by the hob. The limitation of gear hobbing is that it, it can be used to make external gears only. So here is an example of a gear hob. So you could see uh, the cutting teeth on the periphery of the cutter. And uh, uh, generally it, it doesn't have uh, cutting teeth on, onto the face. So how actually gears are made is, uh, is that both the cutter and the blank rotate. Now, depending upon the angle that we require on, onto the blank, we hold the hobbing cutter at that angle. So in a way, gear hobbing is similar to milling because here also the cutter rotates. So this is the cutter, so it is rotating. And this is the blank actually. So here we are making helical gear. So according to the angle required on the helical gear, the hobbing cutter is, uh, is uh, held on onto the machine. So it progressively makes gears. And you could visualize here that we cannot make internal gears using a, a hobbing cutter. So I repeat that the blank as well as the hob both rotate. Uh, another gear making method in machining that we are having are uh, gear shipping tools. So here the blank rotates just like gear hobbing as well as the cutter rotates, but the basic cutting action is through axial movement or the reciprocating movement of the cutter. So cutter moves up and down, up and down. So you could see that the blank is rotating and here we are having a pinion cutter. So it is rotating, but this is also moving up and down. So the movement of the blank is very slow so is the rotation of the cutter, but the movement of the cutter up and down is generally very fast. So apart from pinion shaped cutter, we, we could have a rack shaped cutter as well. So you could see the details in, in the video in the description. But gear shaping can be used to make both internal and external gear. Uh, although the example shown here is the one of external gear, but we can, we can use gear shaping to make internal gears as well. Another example is broaching. So broaching is also a multiple uh, edge cutting tool. So we are having a series of cutting edges. So uh, we are having uh, uh, the teeth in different sizes. So we are having roughing teeth and we are having finishing teeth. And you could notice that the size of the teeth increases as we move from roughing teeth to the finishing teeth. And if we focus on one tooth, it's uh, uh, geometry is very similar to a single point cutting tool. So you could see the rake face. So that has a sort of a rake angle. Then we are having a flank face and we can, we, we are having a relief angle, very similar to end relief angle uh, in the case of a a single point cutting tool. So the angle ground onto the face actually, uh, this angle is a sort of back rake angle. We are calling it face angle in this case. And this angle, this one on this, this part is very similar to the end relief angle in a single point cutting tool. Uh, broaching is primarily used to make internal uh, supplies or gears, but special brooches are available for external uh, gears as well. Another operation that is not mentioned here to make gears is uh, making gears on milling machine, but
but that is a very slow process. And if you have to make a gear to replace a, a, a broken gear or a worn out gear, then milling can be an option. Uh, so you could watch the video in the description to see these gear making uh, operations in action. Thank you.